Hey, what's up, guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And lately, I was just getting really into the fragrance game. I just love perfume and uh, bought a lot of good stuff, a lot of really nice scents. And this one is one of my favorites, Dior Homme Parfum. It's just amazing. And I wanted to create some beautiful shots with my students together, especially on Patreon. I created, for example, this lesson where I break down the light setup. And I also share some beautiful assets with you. So you can start and dig right into it but of course I also want to share some of the knowledge here with you guys on YouTube so I would say I will just fire up my cinema 4d file here but just to be sure the full breakdown will be on my patreon so yeah consider to subscribe but just to let you know you can also subscribe for the free membership on my patreon and for example get this lesson here for free where I just show you how I build my background scenes for a commercial like this one and yeah, so it will not harm you to subscribe to my Patreon to get some free stuff. But of course, also in the paid memberships, there are, I guess, like over 150 tutorials waiting for you. Okay. But anyway, now let's just dive into Cinema 4D and I will keep this one short and precise. But I just wanted to share a little bit of the lighting knowledge here with you guys. So let's fire up Cinema 4D and have some fun. Here we are in Cinema 4D and the full breakdown of this light setup is on my Patreon. I think I already mentioned this. I'm sorry, but I will just show it this one to you here. So I have a distorted plane on the floor, which is reflective to get this beautiful ripples here. And I would say already this one is looking quite mysterious and promising. All right. And this beautiful gradient here is just coming from a light that I have back there. It's just a standard light here. Let's just see an area light without any texture or something like that. And a little bit of a more focused spread to get a more focused circle like this one. Otherwise, it will just fade out more. But let's just focus this one a little bit. All right, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, this one is pretty important. It is also just an area light back there, which is tinted yellowish to get this inside glow here. Okay, that is beautiful. Let's continue here again on the back. I have a little bit of a stretched out area light once again to get this horizon line here. Okay, so far it's it's not that complicated. Let's continue with this light here. And it's once again a circular area light with a disc area shape to make it round and beautiful. And I will mix all of these ones together here to get an effect like this one. Okay, let's continue with probably this one. Let's just see. This one is coming from the bottom and it will give you all of these beautiful refractions that you can see here. And of course, this is the power of 3D because you can fake that stuff so that this light will just exclude the floor and will basically shine through it onto your object. Once again, this is without it. And already this is looking like a perfume commercial. Okay, but we want to make this one better. So let's spice it up with these beautiful refractions here. This is looking amazing. Let's just see what else do we have in the mix here. Now we put some highlights from the left to get these beautiful refractions here. Okay, I like what is happening here. Let's see what else is happening in the scene. Highlights top left. All right, now I just want to sculpt this out even more. And this is basically the idea when you have glass objects in your scene, then basically what you will see are the reflections of these lights and you will just position them around your object to make it visible. Okay, so these are the reflections of your light and you have to decide how strong this reflection should be. And therefore, for example, you could pump this one up to 10. And now you will decide that this one will be a more prominent area of your rendering. Okay, but I will tone this one back down to three because I think it should be more subtle. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, now this one is kicking in with some beautiful gradients here. And you could create your own textures here as a gradient map in your light to just let this one fade out. Or you can also use these ones on my Patreon, but it's really simple to create them. Okay, so this is just like a linear fade out here to not let it look like this one, for example. You can do that with just reflections of white cubes and circles, but I would say it is really important to work with textures in your light like these ones to just let it fade out and make it more subtle and 
like in real life, like in a softbox, okay? Let me see, here is another light back there. But I think by now you will get the idea that you just have to place these ones around your object and just focus on where you want to have these reflections. For example, now this is another decision, but I think that this accent here is really, really nice, okay? And now let's just finish this one with the light on the logo. So definitely you want to highlight your logo, right? Your clients will appreciate that definitely there is another highlight here on the logo to just get an additional light streak here it's looking really beautiful by now let's also put some light on the cap here to just let this one not be just totally black and i will add another light to the spray cap to get this beautiful line here let me just see what else do we have in the mix just a little bit more highlights there a little bit more reflections and I think that this is the mix of my lights here. I know it is looking really crazy here, but your client doesn't have to see that. They will only see the results and will be amazed by your lighting skills. <laughs> All right. And by the way, if you want to study this file more, you will find this one also as a download on my Patreon. And then you can just see exactly what I did here. All right. So I hope that you also learned something here on YouTube. Just be sure to subscribe to the free membership on my Patreon to get another a free bonus lesson and other than that have an amazing day and uh, be powerful be prolific bye everyone